everyone. John Chow here from johnchow.com and welcome to another episode of Driving with John Chow. I want to touch more on what I said in my last driving episode about why affiliates don't make money and how you can reverse the trend, what step you can take so you become a money-making affiliate instead of, you know, most affiliate, which is a money-losing affiliate. Now, you may recall, I kind of touched on it in my, in my first episode when I talk about this, and the main reason why affiliates are not making money is because they are spending all the money trying to build a business for somebody else when they should be building a business for themselves. See, you're, this is a business. What I do is a business, and a business requires customer. But if you look at the affiliate marketing model, you're spending money to get customers for other people. You need to spend money to get customers for yourself, all right? So in other words, you need to own the customer. So how can you do that with affiliate marketing, right? And, that, and that's what I wanna talk about. I wanna talk about basically the affiliate marketing model that I use. See, I don't use the typical affiliate marketing model because well, it doesn't make any money. Even though everyone promotes that, that's the way to get rich, the truth of the matter is, is it's not, it's not. So what is the model that I use? The model that I use is basically based around of me owning the customer. And how do I do that? Well, I get them to subscribe to me. I get them to subscribe to my list. I get them to subscribe to my blog. I get them to follow me on Twitter, friend me on Facebook, that kind of stuff. So instead of me spending money to promote an advertiser's offer, like instead of me spending money to send a, a lead to Amazon or spending money on a pay-per-click campaign to send traffic directly to ClickBank, what I do is I will spend my advertising money to send traffic to me. So send traffic to a landing page that I control, send traffic to my blog, send, but generally I will spend money to send traffic to a page where I'm offering them something in exchange for a email address. Or I would sell them something of my, I would send them one of my own product. There you go. I would sell them one of my own product. Now that could be a free product like an ebook where you give me, give me your email, give me your email address and I'll give you the free ebook. Or it'll be a, a low price product, like an impulse purchase, 10 bucks, 20 bucks, 30 bucks. And that will get them as a customer. But most of the time, I would spend money to get them to download a free product in exchange for a email address. So once I get the email address, that means they basically they belong to me. I can now contact them over and over again, and now I can offer them affiliate product. Now, c compare this to the typical model where you're spending money and you send the traffic to the advertiser's landing page like Amazon or ClickBank. You send to their page, and if they don't buy, you wasted the money. And if they do buy, you get paid once, and then you never see the customer again because the customer now belongs to the advertiser. Now, compare it to this method where you are sending traffic to a page that you control, offering a free product in exchange for a email address. Now, you have the name of the customer that you can contact over and over again. Now, you can offer them the ClickBank product. Now you can offer them the Amazon product. If they don't buy it, that's great. Tomorrow you can offer them another Amazon product. Tomorrow you can offer them another ClickBank product. You can offer them things over and over again. You have the ability to contact them over again, over again. If they do buy it, now you can contact them again and say, you like this product? You might try looking at this other product. In other words, what you're doing is you're getting repeat customer. And that is the key to a successful business. Successful businesses survive on repeat customer. No business can ever live on just one-time customer. It's impossible. Ask any restaurant, ask any bricks and mortars business, where if their customers eat there, like a restaurant, every Saturday I go to Furback Co for lunch. Most of the customers are repeat customer. Some of the customers are new customer. How long do you think Furback Co can survive if all the customers only new customer who never who go there once and never eat there again, they'll be gone within a matter of months. But yet, when you do affiliate marketing in the typical fashion, 
That is exactly what you're doing. You are spending money to get one-time customer that only buy you from you once and you'll never see them again. You will not survive doing that. You need to own a customer so you can sell to the customer over and over again, so you can contact them over again to give them additional product, additional value, additional thing. And you do that by building your list. This is what my, my email list, that's my customer base. That is my customer base. The reason why I make the money that I do is because I have a customer base of over 100,000 people. And so if I create a new product and I want to let my customer base know about it, hit the, I send them an email, 100,000 people know about it. My cost, of, my cost for that, zero. How much would it cost? If I were to do this, with, if I didn't have to, if I had to do this with just advertising, I would have to spend tens of thousands of dollars to do this. But you put your own customer base, you don't have to. You don't have to. So that's, that's basically the business model, the, on, the online model that I use, the affiliate market model that I use. Instead of sending my leads to the advertiser, I send the leads to a page that I control. I offer them my own product so I can get them as a customer. And then after I get them as a customer, I get them on a list. I can sell them stuff over and over again. I can offer the affiliate product. I can offer my own, more of my own product. I can offer them anything I want. So that's the model you just need to work on. If you really, really want to make money online, use that model. Do not use the typical affiliate marketing model. John Chow for JohnChow.com. Thank you for listening. Hope you got value from that. Uh, please subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys on the next episode.